a real sport, I mean applying the same type of fitness training that you would see in other major sports like baseball, basketball, football, hockey, lacrosse, you name it. And I think that that's a big change in freedivers in general. And we're seeing that with Will, we're seeing that with Alexi, Omar Leucci, Alessia, Sayuri Kinoshita. And I think it's lending a huge amount to their success. Absolutely. It's um, in the off season, they're still doing something. When they're not in the water, they're applying themselves in the gym or in the field and, and things like this. And Tetsuo Hara, another Japanese. Yep, another uh, Japanese team. athlete, and he's attempting here with the monofin to, to to dive to 90 meters. So Tetsuo have been very solid. Again, the Japanese uh, seem to announce performances that they can complete. Yeah, absolutely. Tetsuo has um, been very consistent and, and a pleasure to um, to safety and, and watch perform this year. You see just passing 45 meters he charged his mouth fill just before 30 meters his hand came up to his mouth this is to hold any excess um, pressure he has in his mouth from the air escaping he's going to use that air to equalize all the way to the bottom hopefully yep we've talked a lot about mouth fill throughout the week and Tetsuo certainly finding a way to maximize his mouth fill so you can take the mouth fill and you can use your hands just by your side so like a lot of the athletes do facilitating relaxation but if you struggle to take a big enough mouth fill or maybe lose some of the air when you're taking a big mouth fill, certainly one thing you can do is sort of purse your lips and put the tip of your fingers, like you see there, to the, to, to the lips, and that will help to kind of take maybe a bigger mouth fill or help maybe retain the air that you're, you're bringing up. Yeah, absolutely. So a turn from Tetsuo, not the most controlled. Uh, he was a bit far from the rope, so he, he couldn't guide himself, but he got the tag. Uh, arms above his head and he's on his way back to the surface and so it's interesting you know in in the past free diving had this very like sort of zen and meditation quality for the athletes and that everything was really easy and that you just kind of really enjoyed the dives and while that's certainly the case I think it's pertinent to people out there who are aspiring to compete at these levels that you're not going to get there without hard work and sacrifice. Absolutely, Ben. It, it, it's like you said, you need to treat it as a, a, a regular sport. And, um, you know, unfortunately, going to the gym every morning or every afternoon and doing laps in the pool is not always zen and, and beautiful. It, no. It's hard work and you need to incorporate a good diet. And, and so if you want to make these dives something you're going to enjoy and you're going to want to make them easy and things that, like these athletes describe as beautiful, enjoyable mm -hmm. moments, you're not going to get to these depths unless you put the hard work in, in the gym, with your diet, with your exercise, and also in the pool or in the ocean. It's hard work. And we're seeing that paying off in spades for many of the athletes here at Vertical Blue. So just want to put a little bit of a, address the fact that these athletes, how hard they work year round. And most of them with little to no sponsorship help whatsoever. Absolutely. Here we have the tool. Performing surface protocol. Yep. Hopefully within time and within the right right order. We'll wait for an announcement. Tetsuo's got the tag. Will it be a white card performance for the judges on the final day here of the Origin ECN Vertical Blue Freediving yes. Championship? I think he'd be very happy with himself and for his country, his, all his country people watching at home in Japan. Yeah, for sure. Certainly a big contingent. Uh, Freediving becoming very, very popular in Asia. And uh, Tetsuo uh, clearly at the forefront of uh, that success. And so I think dive eye, freediving, you know, I think this is revolutionary for the sport. Broadcasting freediving worldwide, live. Now we have commentary. We have, you know, really the full package starting to come together. I think that hopefully, potentially, maybe, freediving starting to get a little bit more financial assistance. Freedivers 